hello guys today uh, we'll learn how we can do the dynamic routing in IPv6 for dynamic routing I'm taking here two routers of 1841 series is up to you you can use any router okay, whatever you wish so for sake of simplicity I'm taking two routers of 1841 series I'm having two PCs I'm just dragging and drop on a workspace here and you all know that between router and PC we use cross cable because both are similar devices just join them with the fast Ethernet okay complete the connectivity done connectivity done fine in this case now what I'm doing here I'll just take like very simple networks in IPv6 here I'm taking 2007 here I'm taking 2008 at last I have got 2009 okay so again it's up to you whatever uh, network you want in this case I just want a very simpler network in which what I'm expecting here is that first octet is completely filled okay and all the remaining six octets are full of zeros and I'll be taking uh, I'll be just using the last bit by varying the last bit I'm having a different addresses okay let's start now so uh, from here to here I've got 2007 network first I click on PC go to desktop Go, go to IP configuration and give here IP address as it is 2007 so I'm just applying here 2007 let's suppose 1 and give us 64 as a slash in the gateway it will be of same network double column 2 close it go to the other PC repeat the same action but this time around it will be 2009 2009 double colon let's suppose 1 for, for forward slash 64 IP gateway 2009 forward slash double colon sorry 2 complete this now click on the router go to CLA mode here first click no then enable configure terminal actually these are the very common commands for every router whatever you want to do with the router this is the pre-request for entering the configuration mode here we need to write IPv6 unicast routing now go to the interfaces first interface is interface fast ethernet 01 now 01 belongs to the 2007 network so give here IPv6 address and it will be 2007 double colon 2 slash 64 enter now at this moment we'll write a one command for IPv6 RIP RIP stands for routing information protocol which is very well known protocol under dynamic routing here just give a command now command is IPv6 RIP now IPv6 space RIP space now give any string or give any word defined by you if you're not sure just click on just sorry just press question mark you can see here it is demanding it is expecting now word which is user selected string identifying this RIP process let's suppose I'm using here ABC as my word space now last word is enable whenever uh, you are doing the coding on CLI at any moment if you feel that you are missing any command or if you are not getting or not like remembering that next word just press question mark okay enter now and last thing is IPv6 enable enter now the last step is put the port up with no shutdown command now you can see here the left side the now the red color 
signal turns green this shows my port is up and repeat the same step with the interface second one exit go to interface fa 0 by 0 give ipv6 address it will be now from which network 2008 yes 2008 double colon 1 slash 64 enter now give ipv6 rip here v6 rip now i am already chosen abc so it will be same throughout my topology enable sorry no ipv6 enable please make a habit of using tab okay it will just avoid your committing errors enter and last is no shut down you may be wondering here the command of rip is now changed yes the command for rip in ipv4 and ipv6 is totally changed now so close this window we are done with the first router and repeat the same step for second router just do it in a hurry now because it's exactly the same commands now no enable configure terminal ipv6 unicast routing now unicast routing command will be done once per router no better how many links this router is carrying after doing this command go to the interface fa00 and give here ipv6 address which will be 2008 double column 2 slash 64 enter now next is you all know ipv6 rip abc enable and last is ipv6 enable and last command is to put the port up no shut down now this port is up and i'm just left with the one port here just go to the interface now fa01 again ipv6 address which will be now 2009 double column 2 which is also a gateway of route pc pc1 slash 64 ipv6 rip abc enable ipv6 enable no shut down now we are done with all the commands let's check for connectivity sorry just send a message from here to here you can see it's working fine so that's it for today thanks for viewing this video goodbye